as I said, I love the album. I think it's fantastic. Having said that, I've loved everything you've done. So I sort of bought the package. So you're you're well, on board. I'm you're on board, board early. I'm on That's board. Nice. Um, so what would you say you did differently this time around? I know you, you're the producer. Is it, it sounds beautiful, high production values, really lush. Would, were there di things you did differently in making this record? One of the biggest differences between this record and previous records is the way that we broke up the schedule. I think that, like in the past, we've sort of, like we're, we are all sort of obsessive workaholics, I think, and I think we tend to do that thing where we like lock ourselves in the studio for, like 40 days at a time or something and don't leave. There is one total slacker in the group? I don't think so. Not even this guy? No. Nope. You sure? Far from. <laughs> Again, with Tim, why? why did, there's something about me today where I'm a slacker. She took shots at me at the last interview. Too. Yeah. She was like, oh, like this guy over here does nothing, right? I'm like, that's our, I must change my shirt. Yeah, it's going to be shirt yeah, on you. Let's take you shopping after this. <laughs> it's the beard. It says I don't shave. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's no discipline. It's no discipline. It's ridiculously glue. It's groomed. It's groomed, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it's looking that's good. That's a difference between a groom beard means not phase beard. Phase beard just goes crazy. You know that's coming off in a few months. This How long have you had lifetime the beard? commitment? Um, years. We're, we got off track. Three years. Let's three, get four back years to the record. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's beard made the record over the course of about ten months. Yes. <laughs> um, we. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the thing. The thing that was the most different, I think, was that we just did the whole record in like two week. Chunks like two weeks on, three weeks or a month off, two weeks on, three weeks or over a month ten months off or something. Over like about ten months, yeah. And letting a record, letting a record cook like that is something that I, you know, I, I, I sort of wish that like sometimes you have the luxury to do it because like the band doesn't have any money and like they can't afford to buy any more studio time for a couple months. And then sometimes you can do it because you actually have a lot of money to make a record, which is kind of the case with us. It was a luxury. So I read something that you you deliberately set up sonic roadblocks, and that was the term that was thrown around in making the record. Is there any truth to that? It's a I don't know if I would call them sonic roadblocks, but I was interested in like kind of trying to explore the idea of not building not building the record from a, a, a harmonic foundation that was made by strummy guitars and trying to use guitars as much more of a um, much much more as punctuation as color than as like the whole sentence and that is a you know on paper that's a really easy enough thing to do but then when you sort of get into it you sort of realize that you know the guitar is a super immediate satisfying impulsive instrument and you get something out of it like right away as soon as you hit it and when you take that away and then you still expect it to make a rock song it's like kind of a different it, it makes for a completely different process so I guess it I mean it was sort of a roadblock but it was uh, it was a restriction that I think ended up yielding some some I don't know I mean we just looked at it really differently it was just started from a different uh, a different palette, a different set of tools. Tall in stature and exceptionally red. 